In this presentation, we're going to look at stocking rate used for the range judging contest. The first thing we need to know are some terms related to stocking rate. Let's start with animal unit or AU. Animal unit is an equivalent to a 1,000 pound animal or cow. So a 1,000 pound animal would be 1.0 AU or a 1,200 pound animal would be 1.2 AU. Animal unit month or AUM is the amount of forage eaten by a one AU animal in one month. So in this case, one AUM is also equal to 780 pounds of dry forage. We could also use animal unit day or AUD. That's the amount of forage eaten by one AU in one day or 26 pounds of dry forage. The first thing we look at when determining the stocking rate of an area are the animal unit months or AUMs that are available. Studies have found the average AUMs produced per acre by different range sites based on their similarity index. For example, a sandy range site with a similarity index of 85% yields 0.9 AUMs per acre. The same site, sandy, with similarity index of 65% yields 0.7 AUMs per acre. Our formula that we use to determine the available AUMs are the number of acres times the AUMs per acre. In this case, we could take 200 acres of sandy with that similarity index of 85% and you'd take 200 acres times 0.9 AUMs per acre would give you 180 AUMs available. In certain cases, a landowner may wish to save some of that AUM available for wildlife. Here are a couple of examples of how to determine the AUMs available. 200 acres of sandy at 0.9 AUMs per acre. You just take 200 times the 0.9. That leaves you with 180 AUMs available for livestock. Another example could be 300 acres of loamy upland which yields 1.2 AUM per acre and 160 acres of loamy overflow with 1.6 AUMs per acre. In this case, there's two different range sites, so you would multiply them separately and then add them up. So 320 times 1.2 equals the 384 AUMs and the 160 times 1.6 equals 256 AUMs. Those totaled together is 640 AUMs available for livestock to graze. Here's an example with wildlife forage saved. The landowner has 200 acres of sands yielding 0.7 AUMs per acre and 400 acres of choppy sands yielding 0.6 AUMs per acre. The landowner wishes to save 10% of the forage for wildlife. In this case, we would take the 200 acres of sands times 0.7, which is 140 AUMs, the 400 acres of choppy sands times 0.6, which is 240 AUMs, add those together to have a total of 380 AUMs in the pasture. We'll get 10% of that to save for wildlife by multiplying that times 10%, which is 38 AUMs. So in this case, we'd take 380 AUMs total minus the 38 saved for wildlife to have 342 AUMs available for livestock. The next area are AUMs needed. The formula for AUMs needed is the number of head of animals times the animal unit per head times the months. The example here is we're grazing 200 cows, that's the head. They are 1.2 AU per cow and they are in there May 1st, October 1st. That's five months. We also have 10 bulls, which are 1.6 AU per bull, grazing from May 1st to July 15th. That's 2.5 months. So we see the math down below. That's 200 cows times 1.2 times five months. Those are 1,200 AUMs for the cows. And then the 10 bulls times 1.6 AU per bull times 2.5 months, the bulls are using 240 AUMs. 
together, they need 1,240 AUMs. We can take all of that information and we can do a stocking rate check. We're going to have a stocking rate or the number of animals grazing. We would change the stocking rate if the difference between the AUMs available and the AUMs needed is greater than 10% of the AUMs that are available. In the case where there are more AUMs available in a pasture than we need for livestock, we can increase the stocking rate. In the case where there are more AUMs needed by our livestock than are available in the pasture, we decrease the stocking rate. Let's look at an example. In this case, we have 300 acres of sandy at 0.7 AUMs per acre and 100 acres of sands at 0.9 AUMs per acre. We are grazing 50 cows at 1.3 AU per cow from May 15th to October 15th and two bulls, which are 1.5 AU per bull from June 1st to August 1st. Let's do the math. First, let's look at the AUMs available. 320 acres of sandy times 0.7 is 224 and 180 acres of sands at times 0.9 is 162. That gives us, when we add those together, 386 AUMs available in the pasture for grazing. The AUMs needed, we figure by taking the 50 cows times 1.3 AU per cow times five months, 325 is the total, and the two bulls at 1.5 AU per bull times two months, that's six AU, AUM for the bulls. Those together equal 331 AUMs needed for grazing. The difference between the two, the 386 available minus the 331 needed is 55 AUMs. In this case, 55 is greater than 10% of what is available. 10% of available would be 10% of 386 or 38.6. 55 is greater than that. In this case, we only need 331, so there's more uh, feed available in the pasture, so we can increase the stocking rate. Here's an example using forage saved for wildlife. We have 1,000 acres of loamy upland yielding 1.5 AUM per acre. We're grazing 285 cows, which are 1.2 AU per cow. They're grazed from May 1st to September 1st. The landowner wants to save 15% of his forage for wildlife. So to do the math for AUMs available for livestock, we take the 1,000 acres times 1.5 AUM per acre. That's 1,500 AUMs times 15% to get 225. We'll take that 225 subtracted from the 1,500. That leaves us with 1,275 AUMs available for livestock to graze. Determine this, the AUMs needed by livestock, we'll take our 285 head of cows times 1.2 AU per cow times four months. In this case, that is 1,368 AUMs needed. The difference between the available and the needed is 93. 93 is not larger than 10% of the available. 10% of the available, the available was 1,275. 10% of that would be 127.5. Since 93 is not larger than that, there'll be no change in the stocking rate. 